Alrighty. Hello, bases. Your king has arrived. Bob and here. And Brian. And we are back with Godzilla the series. Now, last episode was great. We loved that episode. Uh God, I wish we could see a movie with that villain, the Sphinx villain. You yeah. Know? Oh, man. I wouldn't be surprised if the Sphinx may, may have been like a take on the Griffin from yeah. the abandoned uh, script, but... I would absolutely believe that. Yeah. Now, this episode, Vision, while I've never seen this episode, I think I know what it, like, a part of what it could be. So, I believe Please there's... Please share. I believe <laughs> in this episode, there's these, like, hu- like giant hummingbirds that can go invisible... And the team creates these uh, goggles for Godzilla to, to see them through. You know, now that you're describing this, I, that oddly rings a bell to me. Huh. So, maybe I have seen this one. Um, and as of right now, uh, the last episode I edited, we were on Nigel Death number 20. I don't know if it's ticked up a time or two, but correct, uh, correct uh, Nigel Death count number will be right up here. As usual. But it'll probably jump up again with this episode, or maybe not. It's They've now become weirdly inconsistent. Yeah, and, and sometimes he's not even in an episode, which disappoints me fully. <laughs> <laughs> but without further delay, let's get into the episode. Yep, there they are. Mm-hmm. Tell me I'm seeing things. It's attacking the engine! Mayday, Mayday, this is FM3 declaring emergency. Mayday! Losing altitude! Increase engines to full power! Dang! That was a cool shot. Yeah. And I can already appreciate it's using a, a, its own like unique sound effect. It's not, a, it's not a stock monster again. Yeah, or not that weird cat noise thing. You remember that? Oh, yeah, the, like the, the, yeah. the, the fire shrimp, whatever that thing yeah. was. <laughs> the fire shrimp. I don't know. The yeah, so I like sh- an order of uh, fire shrimp. And <laughs> would, uh, what will you be having? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if that's actually a menu item somewhere. I'm sure it is. <laughs> like a fire shrimp mosquito yeah, thing. With like wasabi sauce, you know? I can't do wasabi. <laughs> nope, me neither. I'm a softie. I can do some spicy things, but not wasabi. I want to be able to taste it, though. By the way, I like how on each of these opening credits, we just go off on our own tangent about... Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Look for the spit. Yep. There, there it is. is. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was doing too. I was like waiting for it to happen. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think we only have after this one eleven episodes. Oh left. my god, we're at home stretch here. I know, and one of them's gonna be the second unaired episode. Ooh, hopefully it's better than the first. <laughs> you know, I I would say I'm looking forward to that, but yeah, after that first one, uh, maybe not. developed a remote MRI device to take readings of Godzilla's brainwaves. I'm trying to determine if he dreams. Hmm. That's interesting. Look at that. His rapid eye movements are off the chart. Oh. <laughs> We've never... Right away. <laughs> I... <laughs> I mean, right away. <laughs> All right, death number this. <laughs> <laughs> I did not expect that. Oh, maybe we'll get another one. It's possible. I'm, I'm just being greedy at this point. It's possible. Just what I need. Uh, what error? What's the problem? Whoa. I am error. Somebody's megabytes are in a bunch. I'm just trying to open my email. Is that too much to ask? The server's been a little buggy this week. Let me take a look at it. We'll fix it in like five seconds. No way I can work with you breathing down my neck. And speaking of your breath... Fine, fine. I'm leaving. 
Now he can look through his emails. <laughs> yep. I'm so good it ought to be illegal. It probably is, Randy. <laughs> I think it is, yeah. You None of my business. He's gonna open it. Come on. <laughs> For a second I thought, oh, you're actually not. Your virus and have determined it to be fatal. Craven's dying? What? I'm thinking they mean a computer virus. Uh yeah. Yeah. Possibly, or like maybe a virus they discovered, but at the same time, like what if he actually could be? Oh, dang. There you go. There's there's your mail. Flashing. Right there. Ready to read. I can see it, Randy. Thanks. Anytime, pal. Anytime at all. <laughs> <laughs> His face. The city by Just the, the... Newark? San Francisco. I knew that. Newark. <laughs> no, so now we're on the opposite side of the of the, the country. First all I saw was a shimmering in the sky. Is this the first one to take place on the California coast? Possibly. I'm pretty sure it is. By a bird. Affirmative. A, uh, a, a giant hummingbird, I'd say. What happened after you took evasive action? The thing disappeared. It's possible the bird was a stealth weapon being tested by a hostile force. Doctor, any thoughts? I think we need to check out the not-so-friendly skies for ourselves. Briggs, I want you to take the heat team to the exact airspace where the attack occurred. What's the status of your co-pilot? On leave, Major Hicks. But uh, Ms. Dupre could take his place. How about it, Monique? Are you ready for a replay? It would be a pleasure. Huh? History? Hmm. Intriguing. Let's duplicate everything from your earlier flight. Same course. Uh, are we watching this or Evangelion right now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me give you a hand with that. The way the way it's being played now, like okay, th there's going to be the misunderstanding. Gotta be. I mean, there's still the small possibility, like oh, he actually could be dying. But the way this is being written, like okay, either discovered a virus or it is a computer virus. Yes. Either way, it's gonna. I think it will lead to some comedy. Like you actually cared about me? Yeah. <laughs> no, I think. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's how it's gonna end. <laughs> exactly <laughs> like that. The shimmering. Oh. Signs of a creature, Captain Briggs. Our airspeed is slower than your first flight, increased to 520 knots. Affirmative. I wonder if the hummingbirds feel either threatened or that they can only be seen at certain scenes, like scenes speeds. It could be. I mean, that's what they're kind of alluding to right here. Right, because they had to get up to 520 knots to even see it, but I wonder if like, oh, not only the speed, but maybe like the, that specific aerospace, like, like that's like their territory. Yeah, I can see that. Not at the Golden Gate. <laughs> How many times has the Golden Gate Bridge been destroyed in, there he is, destroyed in movies. X-Men The Last Stand, Godzilla 2014. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Oh, you're wrecking it. Where'd it go? That's a that's a cool effect. Yeah. Oh, it's got like acid spit. It's like an alien. Oh. It's like a humming Xeno. Xenobird. Xenobird. Did he just go right through it? I think so. I think it's going too fast for him. Wow. They somehow landed safely. <laughs> <laughs> Weren't no. they just almost crashing a second ago? Yeah, there was acid dripping through the cockpit, but oh well. You guys college buddies? That is classified. Gee, mutant hummingbird spit. I love my job. <laughs> I love my job. 
So I looked it up. Uh, she's uh, she, uh, that voice actress isn't the same one from the movie. Oh, okay. Craven, um, somebody else, and Hicks are the uh, are the returning ones. Oh, there's a third person. Yes, I, uh, I have to look it back up. Ooh, again, interesting. But, but it's not Elsie. Okay. I'm surprised they didn't bring back uh, Sergeant O'Neill. You remember him from the movie? He was like Matthew Broderick's yes. like buddy. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice work with the cab trick yes. or something like that. Yes, exactly. The stutter, remember? Yeah. Nice work with the cab trick. Where are you? They're composed of highly reflective strands, similar to fishing wire. So they reflect light? Basically. It's like the hummingbird's wings are made up of thousands of little mirrors, and when light hits the wings, it bounces right off. That kind of thing would be blinding, which would explain why the bird seems to be invisible. But we all saw the thing, at least some of the time. Somehow, we were able to counteract the reflection caused by the wings. Here it is. The bird first appeared as a mirage and only became visible when we increased our airspeed. The creature flaps its wings at a certain speed. When we traveled at the exact same speed, the glare uh -huh. of the creature was neutralized. So, we have to fight something that we can only see if we're going 500 miles an hour? <laughs> oh, that's not gonna be too impossible. Unless we can rig up something to filter out the glare of the creature's wings to make the bird visible at any speed. What about chemical analysis of the regurgitation? Still working on it, but I found something else interesting in these feather samples. Microscopic traces of bark from a giant redwood tree. In the area. Redwood trees are only I would love to go to the redwood forest. Oh, I know. I mean, it's also to like see if there's like any loose props left over from Return of the Jedi. <laughs> or um, the Planet of the Apes movies. That's right, the, the newer ones. Yeah, the newer ones, yeah. I love... Uh, I didn't mind War. War wasn't bad, but Dawn and Rise were just fantastic. Yeah, Dawn was my favorite. Mm -hmm. It looked like the mutation that attacked our plane was doing the exact same thing to our engine. Perhaps it was merely disoriented. Maybe. Let's see if we can find signs of a nest. You guys go ahead. I want to take some plant samples. Maybe its food source will tell us something. But I get the feeling you're going to get kidnapped. Uh, <laughs> anytime they go off by themselves. And it's either just Elsie or Craven. like, I need to study this real quick. I'll catch up. You're gonna get kidnapped. Right, we'll see you at the end of the episode. <laughs> Always practice the buddy system. Craven, I, I, what's wrong? Nothing. Aww, <laughs> he does care. He, like it's sweet, but it's also funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think that's one thing I'm gonna miss about this show. It's like the Craven and Randy dynamic. Yeah, absolutely. These crops cannot go fast enough to make the bird visible. Chopper one, this is Apache one. I do not remember calling for backup. My mistake. Eagle 20, box 2. That reference. Oh, you, you didn't see Independence Day. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. You need a big windshield wiper to get that off. I love that he's barely taller than the trees. Yeah. Well, I think this Godzilla was maybe barely... Oh, he hit it! Oh, nice. It, it hit them. <laughs> I wonder if it's... Is it dead or just unconscious? Maybe just stunned? Possibly. Uh, what was I saying before? His height? Oh yeah, like this is definitely one of the smaller Godzillas. I think it barely even hits 50 meters. Yeah. And a live specimen. Okay, no, it's just like unconscious or something. I told you to bank right. Your reflexes are still slow. And you're still arrogant as ever. It's comforting. Something's up with those two. Again, they have a history. Yeah, there's chemistry. They probably there. like train together or something. When the bird's wings aren't moving, they can't reflect the light, so the creature is visible to us. Nick, this blood sample—it's full of chlorofluorocarbons. 
toxins caused by heavy pollution. And the same CFC show up in the flower samples I took from the forest, as well as in that brown stuff Big Bird spit at us. <laughs> Industrial pollution must have contaminated the plants that these birds feed on and caused them mutation. How does that explain the attacks on it's our... It's not too often. We do get it sometimes, but it's not too often we get a direct, like, hey, this is the origin of this mutation. I always appreciate that. It makes it fun. Airplanes aren't the only producers of chlorofluorocarbons. These mutants might start attacking cars, uh, factories, anything that produces fumes. Major Hicks, do you read? So it's like a, a bird Hedorah, pretty much. Yeah. A hummingbird Hedorah. A humdora. A humdora. <laughs> <laughs> We got fire shrimp and humdora. <laughs> should have adjusted the lens an additional five degrees. No way, dude. It's perfect. Maybe you should sit down for a while. You know, uh, get some rest. I'm not tired. <laughs> you guys, tell me you have something. Ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls. We're a little short on time. Developing a device to accommodate the human eye proved impossible. However, we feel we created the next best thing. Introducing the first Godzilla visor. So, fun fact about this visor. It's a, it is a re, um... Oh, like a reimagining? Kind of, there's a better word for it. Not reused, um... Recycled? Recycled and, and uh, not improved upon, but, uh, uh asset from the, uh, it was originally meant to be a, a headset so that they could communicate with Godzilla, but instead they turned into a visor for this episode. Interesting. What do you mean you don't have authorization? The airport has to be shut down now. Badger's back! Hello? All right, we might get a second death. Put me on hold. Possible. Ignorance. Evidently, the FAA is not accepting the Pentagon's recommendation to close the airport. It's not enough immediate threat. Isn't that illegal? I don't Can they do that? I don't think they can. I mean, granted, this was pre-September 11th, but still. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's, like, one of them outranks the other, you know? Yeah. Is this the first time Godzilla's in San Francisco before 2014? I think so. Little did he know he would make his triumphant return. 16 years later. 16 years later. A little to the left. Craven, Brent, you're up. Lowering the visor. I love that he's just standing still waiting for it to happen. Yep. <laughs> it's a very obedient Godzilla. Steady, big guy. <laughs> steady, steady, steady. <laughs> we haven't had that happen yet. Uh, oh, maybe. Oh, they just drop it. Okay. Oh, that's so cool. It's, it's almost it does like 3D cool. glasses. Yeah, I, I like the, the lenses on those. Yeah, See, those... now, that could be a cool accessory to a, to a figure, you mm -hmm. know? Or just an entirely new figure. Yeah. I mean, we're not, we're not a, 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 a unaccustomed to action figures having like 15 different versions of itself. You're right, yeah. I mean, heck, with uh, the new Spider-Man movie, we're going to have like so many different Spider-Man action figures with like, oh, this has the gold web shooters. Oh, it's the, it's the integrated suit. It's the black and gold suit. Why don't I like the sound of that? If I can increase fuel compression and disengage the exhaust valve controls, we can increase our emissions and lure the birds towards us. But if we do that, those overgrown parakeets will think we're a free lunch. Exactly. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. <laughs> that was cool. Trouble at two o'clock. Uh oh. They never close the airport. When this is over, some FAA official's gonna be pumping gas for a living.
And that was me on that flight, like, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm yeah. gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> they, they need Sully to land that in the, in the river. <laughs> Did he get them all? How do they get the glasses off of him? <laughs> he oh, he hugged him. Do it for a bro hug. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised if, like, if he like to shook him off. Oh, or, oh there. Never mind. <laughs> he did come oh. off in the water. You know what's funny? Those probably cost like two billion dollars, and then he just kind of shrugs them off in the water. Probably. Another time, perhaps. Perhaps. I was half expecting a kiss. <laughs> perhaps indeed. Uh, Briggs, we're talking a working relationship, right? <laughs> the Coast Guard's finished rounding up the hummingbirds. None were fatally injured, just stunned. The Pentagon wants to study their stealth capabilities. So they have of course. They want to talk surprised they didn't just ship them off to uh, Monster Island. Yeah. Actually, Craven deserves all the credit. It was his design. Huh? Okay, that's it. Here I've we go. Enough of this. What are you up to? What are you talking about? I like yeah. how he doesn't like it. I mean, insane with this be nice to Craven routine. There's something going on here, and I want to know what it is. Okay, okay. I know. Know what? About the virus. I sort of read the email from your doctor about it being fatal. And I just want to let you know. <laughs> the small smile. <laughs> Aww. Randy, that email was about an Egyptian mummy I've been autopsying for Elsie. I don't have a virus. <laughs> You're not dying. So, I was nice to you for nothing? <laughs> Man. Hey, hey, Craven, wait up. You want to get a burger or something? Sure, okay. All right. I like that conclusion. That was that was a really good. I would say that that was a okay, good episode. If anything, it was just a really interesting episode. Yeah. Um. Again, a unique monster. You yes. Know? Um. I especially like the fact that they travel so fast that they get invisible. Yeah. And in fact, they had to create freaking goggles so at least Godzilla could see them. Yeah. I mean, when has that ever happened? Never that they've created something for Godzilla, like an accessory to help him out. You know, right? Because usually, like, it's it's something to stop or kill Godzilla. Like yeah. The the blood bullet from Space Godzilla, the coagulating shin, um, any of the Mecha Godzillas. Yeah. So that that was very interesting and unique. I I dig it. Yeah, me too. Um, again, we we mentioned action figures a couple times. I did finally research it. There was a toy line planned for this show, but unfortunately, it just never went. It never went past prototype stage. Oh. And they have, they had, um, I think they had four monsters in prototype. It was Godzilla, Cy Cyberzilla, aka Tristar's Mecha Godzilla, uh, the C Rex, which was Tristar's Oh, yeah. Field, yep, the first one we um, saw. Um, Quetzalcoatl, I think there was one other one. But they also had Nick, uh, Randy, and I think, uh, Monique action figures. As they also, they also had, um, uh, helicopters and planes, but that's whatever. They also had a, that two different Nigel figures. Yes! I they, was yeah, hoping you say They had a, the regular yellow one and, like, a chrome one. Ooh. Dang it, see, this just makes me wish that they got released, you right. know? Monster Island Buddies, send us some prototypes. <laughs> <laughs> Go check out our buddy Monster Island Buddies. He has some really cool stuff on Godzilla action figures and history of Godzilla just in general. Um, but yeah, another solid episode. I enjoyed it. Yep. And soon we're going to be closing out disc three yep. of four. Next episode, we will close out the final episode of disc three, and we're getting down to the final ten episodes Man, of Godzilla the series. It's kind of bittersweet, you it know? It really is. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to miss watching this show. I know. But for now, thank you all so much for watching. Hit that like button, hit subscribe, help the channel grow. Hit that little notification bell so you know when we do more reactions like this and when I upload my other videos. Your king is departing.